the operational portable entry device. Hello from the Gulliver Engineering Team in South Florida. For this year's NEDC, the team interviewed employers at Sunrise Community in Miami to define a predominant issue in the workplace. Sunrise Community provides assistance and support to individuals with developmental disabilities in order to live valued lives in the community. We discovered that an employee, Scott Dorfman, a wheelchair user with cerebral palsy, has an intense struggle opening and closing a door independently. The team then determined the best solution for improving his ability to independently act in the workplace. Our research concluded that only one-fifth of the 1.6 million wheelchair users in the United States are employed. There are many reasons why individuals may require a wheelchair, including paralysis, muscle weakness, spina bifida, and cerebral palsy. According to the United Cerebral Palsy Foundation, over 800,000 Americans are currently living with cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy refers to any one of a number of neurological disorders that permanently affect body movement and muscle coordination. That's where the difficulty comes in. Since Scott is a person who is responsible for his classroom, he's the teacher of the computer lab, um, what happens is, if in that position of authority, if you have to ask your students constantly, you know, could you shut the door behind me or could you open the door for me, as much independence as he can get, this is what's going to boost his confidence on being the leader of the classroom. You know, I'm doing this completely on my own. I can get in and out of my classroom on my own. I mean, imagine you're always using a wheelchair. He always needs assistance getting in and out of that, you know, but at, at even little things like opening the door on his own and shutting it behind him, just like every other teacher does, um, is going to increase his ability to be effective in the classroom, definitely. The design process commenced with various team members sketching their ideas, which generally revolved around fixing problems in the only existing portable technology that seemed capable of opening a door, a grabbing device. Scott's use of the grabber resulted in only more strain, and several mock-ups were built. A matrix was created to identify the best solution, and the final concept was designed on AutoCAD Inventor. A tree cutter was modified to act as the door opening mechanism, and discussions led the team to brainstorm ideas to solve problems. Yari Roman, a certified athletic trainer at the school, analyzed the device and responded, it is light and safe. Testing with Scott required the device to be operated with one arm, resulting in no pulling mechanism and a stationary clamp head. Furthermore, the team encountered issues with the vertical adjustment lock and chose to insert a stopper that would safely prevent any falling of the device. The open device is attached to the wheelchair utilizing clamps. An L-bar was inserted in a holster to allow for rotation and additional displacement. The caster allows the telescopic arm to have 360 degree rotation while the tubular pivot system and the safety release lock provide vertical adjustment while also preventing any abrupt motions that may cause harm to the user or others. The telescopic arm can be easily extended to ensure that the user does not have to reach out of the wheelchair and risk falling off the chair. Its locking mechanism prevents the user from accidentally overextending the device. The reel provides for smooth clamp rotation to alleviate muscular strain on the user. To construct the device, a cylindrical tube was placed on top of a caster fastened to an L-bar, along with a quick release mechanism. The blue triangular tube was inserted through the holster. The silver telescopic arm and locking mechanism were inserted as well. The clamping mechanism was then placed on the end. Approach the door, aligning the open device perpendicularly to the handle. Extend the telescopic arm while lowering the device into horizontal position, and lock the arm. Push the device towards the door, positioning the clamp on the door handle. Rotate the arm to turn the door handle and pull back on the arm. Then, release the door handle, pivot the arm, and push the door further open. Proceed through the doorway. We're here at Sunrise uh, testing our device and showing Scott our role model how to use it. It's unlocked, so you just pull this up. And then when you put it like this, you can lock it again because that'll be you can lock it by twisting. Right. There you go. Yeah. How do you like that, guys? <laughs> it works! It works! That's good. Um, I'd be willing to spend anywhere between fifty and hundred dollars to each employee in order to increase their independence in this way. I think it's going to be a lot easier for me when I open those doors now. It will definitely be a lot easier and comfortable because now that I've tried it out, I'm feeling comfortable with it right now. I can push it out, so it's easy pull to it use. back. Yep. Awesome. It is a lot easier because then Great. I don't have to rely on anybody to help me with. Um, rely on anybody to help me with uh, everything. I can do most things myself. Don't need to 
ask anybody, like, hey, can you get this for me? Can you, can you open this door for me? Because it's heavy for me. What is your reaction? My reaction is incredible. I can't believe how something so simple, even though I know it's complex, but it's so simple, just made such a huge difference in a matter of seconds. You know, you got the door open with, like, no effort, just his one arm, and he pulled it right open. So I'm amazed. I think it's great. great. Fantastic. I wish we had come up with this device sooner, uh, a lot sooner than we have now, because then it would be a lot easier. It's going to be a lifesaver I mean, for us. It would